There's a fish out here. There's a fish just swimming straight out there in front of me. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a fish just swimming out in front of me. Oh! <laughs> I can see it. Let's have another go. Ready? Oh! Yeah, boy! What the heck is this? Look at the colours of that little guy. Epic. Alright, we're waiting. So, I've seen some pretty big fish cruising in this lagoon. Oh, on oh, already. Yeah. I didn't even see it hit. Where is it? Oh yeah, here it comes. Little trout. <laughs> Little trout. Epic. I'm just walking like on the sand in between the coral. This dude's trolling lures, man. I could probably nearly cast out to where he is, to be honest, divide my heavy set. That's exciting. We'll get the heavy set later on and we'll go and stand on the shelf and cast out there. They've been catching a lot of yellowfin tuna and mahi-mahi. So GT, yellowfin, mahi-mahi. Who knows what else I could catch. This rod casts this little lightweight thing so freaking far, man. It's amazing. Ocean Excella 762, I think, yeah. If you're wondering, from Daiwa, of course. I mean, that's a lure there. I don't even know how heavy that is, but it's so light. That's a little Daiwa in feet slippery dog. Super light though, man, but this rod's casting it so nicely. Like, way better than I expected. I'm getting like probably 30 to 40 meters cast, which is pretty freaking amazing for this lightweight thing. Check this spot out, man. Pretty shallow, sandy reef running right out. Heaps of current. I just saw a bluefin trevally swim past too while I was setting up this, the rod. Yeah. P4 setup too this time. Soltiga 8000 on the C82-4 rod. Let's go, man. This looks so nice. All right, and for lure, I'm gonna throw that one first. That's 50 gram from OTL. Gonna try a little popper, see if that makes a difference. I casted that 50 gram for a little while, but all right, little popper, let's go. Big cast. I'm just winding and it's popping real nice. That is so good, man. Look at that. For a little popper, that's a big splash. Right in front of me guys, I'm not going to move, there's a trumpet fish, right in front of me coming towards me, see it? I'm not going to move, apart from winding, because it'll see me and spook, this might bite this lure. Believe it or not, these things freaking take lures. Let's see what it does, here comes the popper. Nothing. If I had the little setup, it would probably bite that. Him right at our feet guys he's not gonna bite it again surely not spooked how nice is this all right I'm just walking across this little cut here to get to these islands and we're gonna just see what we can catch along here man because this looks so good look at this coral look at all these fish 
There's got to be some predators cruising here around here, man. There has to be. Being real careful with where I walk. For one, I don't want to damage the coral. And two, I don't want to step on a stonefish or a freaking stingray or something crazy. Oh my gosh, this, could this look any nicer? Look how colourful those fish are, man. Can you see those fish? Oh my gosh. We are going to wade this shallow country until we find a giant predator, guys. That's today's goal. All right, setup I've got Saltiga 5000. Teddy Black Rod, that's the wash game version. Such a sick rod for this little combo. I've got PE4 on there. It's reasonably heavy duty in a lightweight package, this guy. Target species in here. Anything. Any predator. And there could be many different types in here, man. That's probably like four, four or five meters deep right there. And fish everywhere. Look at all the fish. I don't know if you guys can see all those fish just cruising up and down the edge. What do you guys think I'm going to catch first? Drop a comment right now. What do you think I'm going to catch first? And we'll see who's right. Alright, stand here because then I can look down over this edge. I would love to see a massive GT swim past here. Oh, set the hit. Oh, he's smoking it. Oh, one thing I forgot is I don't want those freaking oh the trigger fish. Forgot about the trigger fish. They've just bitten the tail off it. Can you see them? Those two Moorish idols are real territorial. Those yellow and black ones. I've watched them just chase anything away. Anything that goes in this little hole, they chase away. Did you want to know something funny? I'm actually just uploading the next hunting video on the hunting channel as well, right now. Uploading your videos. 13%. <laughs> on the mission, boys. Shallow reef right here. Bait everywhere, fish everywhere. Hopefully we can find some predators. That's the plan. Let's go to this next island out here, guys. There's a couple of these little channels I've got to cross. The coconut. I'm tempted to swim this channel to get over to that flat over there. Because if I'm on that sand flat, I might be able to sight cast to Bonefish and Trevally. But, oh, that's a decent hit. But, what I'm a bit sketched out about is that's deep. Not real deep, like five meters deep, maybe six meters deep at the deepest. But I'll end up spending the whole day over there. And then when it comes to coming back across, it's going to be the evening. I don't want to have a run in with a tiger shark or bull shark or something like that in the evening light while I'm swimming across. Imagine how freaking sketchy that would be. Gonna try that little diver popper, see what happens. Some pretty nice little trevally looking areas around here. You speak English? No. no. You like to fish? You like to fish? Je pêche? Hmm? You je pêche? Big, big pass one? For fishing? Yeah. Which one your favorite? Um. <laughs> oh, karang. Karang? Right there. Yeah. Right there. See him? Karang? Yeah. Blue karang. Out there. Out there. None. Yep, on. What do we got here? 
the heck is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oi, I caught a freaking puffer fish, man. Are you freaking joking me? Look at this thing. I cannot believe that. Oh, something getting chased right here. Oh shit, something getting chased right to me. I've never caught a puffer fish on Ron Reel before. That thing is wild, man. Load a bolt. I was not expecting to catch that man, that thing is freaking nuts. A puffer fish on soft plastic, that is wild. Right, since he, since he chewed the tail off that grub, we're gonna go, this guy right here, Rambo Trout Minnow 3.2 inch. All right, let's go with that one. Slightly, slightly faster retrieve I reckon, otherwise I'll probably catch another one old abandoned hotel that we're going to build a resort here there's got to be some big fish lurking around this area there's a good drop off out here so we'll fish our way along these pylons head for that drop off eh? Oh, what the heck was that? I'm losing light guys. It's getting pretty late in the day. I think that is my cue. I'm gonna call it a day, so. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you guys tomorrow, another adventure.